Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be making an easy beef chili. Now you could make this without beans, but today my family requested chili with beans in it, so that's what I'm doing. To start, I'm going to preheat my pot. Here I'm using around a six quart pot for this. I'm going to preheat it and add around three tablespoons of oil. I'm using lean ground beef, so that's why I'm using three tablespoons of oil. But if you're using a higher fat ratio of beef, then you might not need oil. So here I have three pounds of lean ground beef, and actually it's two pounds of ground beef and one pound of minced and chopped top sirloin steak that I had in my freezer that I'm using. And I actually like to use stew meat sometimes to mix it in with my chili. I like the texture of a soft tender chunk of meat with the ground beef but you know just use ground beef that works too so now i'm going to brown and cook my ground beef i'm also going to add around a teaspoon and a half of salt and a half teaspoon of cracked black pepper things like salt and pepper seasonings and spices if you want more or if you want to use less it's definitely up to you and your taste by the way you could also use ground turkey meat with this i like to do that as well if I have ground turkey in the freezer. Okay, so now that my ground beef is cooked, I'm going to add four to five cloves of minced garlic, and I'm also going to add a finely chopped onion. This is a large onion. I'm just going to combine this with the ground beef and continue cooking this for about five minutes. And I am using a medium high heat to cook this. Okay, so now that my meat, onions, and garlic is combined, it's been cooking, I'm now going to add my dry seasonings and spices. And like I mentioned before, it's definitely up to you how much you wanna use. Here I have six tablespoons of chili powder. I'm going to give that a mix. I'm also going to be adding three teaspoons of smoked paprika. I'm going to add three teaspoons of granulated garlic powder three teaspoons of granulated onion powder. I'm also going to be adding three teaspoons of ground cumin, and I'm just going to combine and mix this well for another two to three minutes. You may also want to watch for the heat on this. You don't wanna burn the dry seasonings and spices, so adjust accordingly. Okay, so after a couple of minutes, now I'm going to add three tablespoons of tomato paste. I'm going to work that into the ground beef mixture, and I'm also going to cook this a little bit. You may want to get it to crust on the bottom of the pan, you just don't wanna burn it. So I'm gonna do this for a couple of minutes. Okay, so everything is cooked, combined, and seasoned well. Now I'm going to add seven cups of low sodium beef broth. If you have your homemade beef stock or beef broth and it is seasoned well, then you might want to scale back on the salt in this recipe, but I'm using a store-bought low sodium beef broth, so I will be adding salt to taste later. So I gave that a mix, and now I'm going to add one chipotle pepper in adobo sauce. Basically, I finely chopped a chipotle pepper and I added two tablespoons of the adobo sauce that came in the can. And this is not going to make this super spicy, but it does add great flavor. So now everything is up to a simmer. I'm going to cover it with a lid. I'm going to lower the heat and let my chili simmer for one hour. Now you might get away with letting it simmer for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes, but I really want it to get tender and cook through. So after an hour, I'm going to give it a stir. And at this point, I am going to add a cornstarch slurry. Now, to thicken your chili, there are several methods that I've used in the past. You could do a roux with flour when you're browning the ground beef. You could also add maybe a quarter cup of maseca to thicken the chili, but I'm going with a cornstarch slurry. Here I have four heaping tablespoons of cornstarch and I've added four tablespoons of cold water. Gave it a mix and right into my pot. And as soon as you start stirring it, it will start to thicken and it works just like that. It's really easy to do. But again, use the method that you find most convenient in your kitchen. So now I'm going to add two drained and rinsed cans of pinto beans. You could use the beans of your choice. I'm using two 15 ounce cans that I drained and rinsed. 
I'm going to give that a mix and I'm just going to continue simmering this for about 15 to 20 minutes and then my chili is done. Once your chili is done, it is ready to serve. You can serve this in a bowl with the condiments and toppings of your choice, maybe with a side of sweet golden cornbread, but today I'm going to make Frito pies, and that's basically Fritos in a bowl with cheese, chili poured on top with sour cream, and it's super delicious. But again, it's definitely up to you how you want to eat your chili. This recipe has tons of smoky flavor, the beef is tender, it's hearty, and it's perfect for when the weather gets colder to warm you up. So I hope you guys give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.